Genius Speller, it goes beyond just spelling. Genius Speller, we learn by doing, we learn through innovation. Thousands enter, only few chosen remain. Among the chosen few, one champion speller, one of the most exclusive competitions in the country where intelligence, hard work, and skill is everything. Erythropoiesis. E R Y T H R O P O I E S I S. Erythropoiesis. That's correct. I am privileged to welcome all viewers to the semi final stage of uh, the Junior Speller Contest. This is the basic one, two, four division. We started from the school level. At the school level, the students were given words to study and we went to the school to have a spelling bee competition for them. In fact, in most of the schools, there were about 50 students in each division. In each division, um, few would be selected for the quarter-final stage, and then uh, you, when you qualify from the quarter-final stage, you move on to the semi-final stage, which we are going to witness today. If you qualify from the quarter-final stage, then you move to the semi-final stage, and then from the semi-final stage, you move to the grand finale. We've had more than 1,000 students going through this program from the audition or the school stage up to this level. And we really believe we are going to see a beautiful and competitive contest because most of them are experienced because they've gone through the school and the audition um, stage and they've gone through the quarterfinal stage and now they've made it to the semi-final stage. At the semi-final stage, we usually wish we could promote all of them to the grand finale because whoever comes to the semi-final is really a, a champion who can compete in the grand finale. But uh, we can't allow all of them to go through, so we will make sure few of them would be uh, disqualified based on their performance, and then the rest will be given the opportunity to come for the grand finale. So this is how it was done. We had different groups. So those who uh, were selected from one group, from the group one, uh, competes, meets together those from group three. And they are the ones competing today. So there will be another one from group two and group four meeting and the best students will be selected for the grand finale. My name is Newton Ajiman. I am 10 years old. I attend Grace Stars Montessori School. It is located at Dansuma Nesbishin. My aim is to win this time. I don't want to lose like the second round. My name is Ishwa Mabina Asari. I am 8 years of age. I attend Elite Montessori School. I want to be the first in this one so that I can learn more. My name is Seram Amevo. I am eight years of age. I attend Blue Cross High School. What I expect is I want to win this contest and go to the finals. And I want to win this, this contest because it is educative and fun. And I want to let everyone join this, this contest. My name is Esther Sinkwamanka. I am 10 years of age. The name of my school is Our Lady of Assumption RCBZ2. It is located at Nuwachimota. The aim that I want to fulfill is to get an, a scholarship for my mother so she will be proud of me. So before the contest begins, we go over the rules and regulations once again. The pronouncer strives to pronounce words according to the word list and Oxford Dictionary. If a word has one or more homonyms, the pronouncer indicates which word is to be spelt 
by defining the word. The speller will pronounce the word, spell the word orally, and pronounce the word again. Contestants will not be allowed to write the word before spelling it. Having started to spell a word, a contestant may stop and start over, retracing the spelling from the beginning. However, in the retracing, there can be no change of letters and their sequence must not differ. A speller shall have one minute to spell a word. Once the contestant begins spelling the word, he or she will have 20 seconds to complete the spelling of the word. The pronouncer may offer word information without the speller having requested information if the pronouncer senses that the information is helpful. The pronouncer responds to the speller's request for a definition sentence or alternate pronunciation or part of speech and when you hear the bell that means you got it wrong when you come to the microphone you pronounce the word spell it pronounce it remember to pull down your mask so we hear you clearly so the contest begins first contestant number 51 Your word is costume. Costume. C O S T U M E. Costume. That's correct. The word is moonlit. Moonlit. M O O N L I T. Moonlit. That's correct. Your word is flimsy. Flimsy. F L I M S Y. Flimsy. That's correct. Your word is caption. Caption. C A P T I O N. Caption. That's correct. The word is horse, but horse is a homophone. Animal used for riding or transport. Horse. Horse. H-O-R-S-E. Horse. That's correct. Your word is mango. Mango. M-I-N-J-L-E. Mango. That's correct. The word is commute. To commute means to travel from home to work on a regular basis. Commute. Commute. C O M M U T E. Commute. That's correct. The word is lonesome. Lonesome. L O N D S O M E Lonesome. That's correct. <laughs> clench. To clench means to reach an agreement. Clench. Clench. C L U T C H Clench. No, I'm sorry. Clinch is C L I N C H. Clinch. Your word is esteem. Esteem. E S T E E M. Esteem. That's correct. The word is misgiving. 
misgiving, a feeling of doubt or apprehension about the outcome or consequences of something we have misgivings about, the way we campaign is being run. Misgiving. M I S G I I N G. Misgiving. No, I'm sorry. Misgiving is M I S G I V I N G. Misgiving. Your word is inflation. Inflation. I N F L A T I O N. Inflation. That's correct. The word is nastiness. Nastiness. N A S T I N E S S. Nastiness. That's correct. Amusement. Amusement. A M U S E M E N T. Amusement. That's correct. The word is cuckoo. Cuckoo. C U C K O O. Cuckoo. That's correct. Your word is bowler, a player who throws the ball at the batsman in a cricket match. Bowler. Bowler. B O W L E R. Bowler. That's correct. <laughs> curdle. To curdle means to cause liquids to separate into lumps. Curdle. curdle. C U R D L E. Cado. That's correct. Your word is cord. Cord. Capital C H O R D. Cord. That's correct. The word is applaud, to show approval or praise by clapping hands. Applaud. Applaud. A-P-P-L-A-U-D. Applaud. That's correct. The word is curator. Curator. Curator, C U R A T O R. Curator. That's correct. The word is interview. Interview. I N T E R V I E W interview. That's correct. Your word is bruise. The discolor discoloring of the skin due to injury. Bruise. I'm sorry. Bruises. B R U I S E. Bruise.
Your word is erratic. Definition, please. Not even or regular in pattern or movement. Erratic. Unpredictable. Erratic. Erratic. I R R A T I C. Erratic. No, I'm sorry. Erratic is E R R A T I C. Erratic. The word is assembly. Assembly. A S S E M B L Y. Assembly. That's correct. The word is fugitive. Fugitive. F U G I T I V E. Fugitive. That's correct. The word is departure. Departure. D E P A R T U R E. Departure. That's correct. Chaotic. Chaotic. C H A O T I C. Chaotic. That's correct. Your word is assortment. Assortment. A S S O R T M E N T. Assortment. That's correct. Your word is distribution. Distribution. D I S T R I B U T I O N. Distribution. That's correct. The word is molding, a shaped strip of wood or other material fitted as a decorative architectural feature, especially in the corners. Molding. Molding. M O U L D I N G. Molding. That's correct. <laughs> the word is contempt. Contempt. C O N T E M P T contempt. That's correct. The word is conquest. Conquest. C O N Q U E S T. Conquest. That's correct. The word is astounding. Astounding. A S T O U N D I N G. Astounding. That's correct. Delightful. Delightful. D E L I J H T F U L. Delightful. That's correct. <laughs> clause. A clause is any part of a sentence that has a verb. Clause. Clause. C L A U S E. Clause. That's correct. The word is brutality. Brutality. B R U T A L I T Y. Brutality. That's correct. Monetary, relating to money or currency. Monetary. Monetary. M O N E T A R Y. Monetary. That's correct.
Neurotic. Neurotic. N e u r o t i c. Neurotic. That's correct. Automatic. Automatic. Capital A U T O M A T I C. Automatic. That's correct. <laughs> Entertainment. Entertainment. Capital E N T E. R T A I N M E N T Entertainment. That's correct. Your word is commerce. Commerce. C O M M E R S. Commerce. No, I'm sorry. Commerce is C O M M E R C E. Your word is decisive. Decisive. Speak into the microphone. Decisive. D E S I S I V E. Decisive. No, I'm sorry. Decisive is D E C I S I V E. Decisive. The word is condolence. Condolence. C O N D O L E N C E. Condolence. That's correct. Expression. Expression. E X P R E S S I O N. Expression. That's correct. <laughs> the word is dispatched. 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 Send off to a destination or for a purpose. Dispatched. dispatched. D I S P A T C H E D dispatched. That's correct. Custody. Custody. C U S T O D Y. Custody. That's correct. The word is embarrass. Embarrass. E M. B A R R A S S embarrass. That's correct. <laughs> Knowledge. Knowledge. K N O W L E D J A. Knowledge. Repeat what you said. Knowledge. K N O W L E D J E. Knowledge. Very well. That's correct. Um, you're advised to speak loudly into the microphone so we can all hear you clearly. Okay? The word is exhibition. Exhibition, a public display of works of art or items of interest held in an art gallery or museum or at a trade fair. Exhibition. Exhibition. E X H I B I T I O N. Exhibition. That's correct.
The word is manufacture. Manufacture. M A N U F A C T U R E. Manufacture. That's good. The word is flout. Openly disregard a rule, law, or convention. Flout. Flout. Please put it in a sentence form. Motorists who flout the law will be arrested. Flout. F L O U T. Flout. That's correct. The word is acquitted. Acquitted. A C K O U I T T E D. Acquitted. That's correct. The word is reassure. Reassure. R E A S S U R E. Reassure. That's correct. The word is collusion. Collusion. C O L L U S I O and collusion. That's correct. Carpentry. Please double dig it. Carpentry. The activity or occupation of making or repairing things in wood. Carpentry. Car carpentry. C A R P E N T R Y carpentry. That's correct. The word is allergy. Allergy. Please do that again. Allergy. A medical condition that causes a person to respond or become hypersensitive to a particular substance allergy. or food. Allergy. Allergy. A L L I E G N C allergy. No, I'm sorry. Allergy is A L L E R G Y allergy. Your word is blurred. Blurred. Lack of clarity in meaning or vision. Blurred. B L U R R E D blood. That's correct. Your word is carnage. Carnage, capital C A R N A G E, carnage. That's correct. Exquisite or exquisite. Extremely beautiful and delicate. Exquisite. Exquisite. E X Q U I. S I T E, exquisite. 
Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Why the long break? You were gathering momentum, right? <laughs> Next. Your word is cognition. Please say what again? Cognition. Cognition or cognition. Cognition refers to matters and working of the mind such as insight, perception, and understanding. Cognition. H A. Pronounce it first. Cog. Cognition. Cock. Cognition. C. Cognition. 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 C O C K T I O N. Cognition. No. Cognition is. C O G N I T I O N. Cognition. The word is pressure. Pressure. P R E S S U R E. Pressure. That's correct. <laughs> Consensus. Consensus refers to an agreement. Consensus. Consensus. C O N S E N S U S. Consensus. That's correct. <laughs> the word is flamboyant. Flamboyant. F L A M B O Y A N T. Flamboyant. That's correct. Engagement. Engagement. E N J E J E M E N T. Engagement. That's correct. Falsified. Falsified. All time information, a document or evidence so as to mislead. Falsified. Verb. Falsified. Falsified. F O L S I F I E D. Falsified. No, I'm sorry. Falsified is F A L S I F I E D. Your word is collision. Collision. A collision refers to a crash in contact of some kind. Collision. Collision. C O L L I S I O N. Collision. That's correct. Engrossed, engrossed, absorb all the attention or interest of. Engrossed. Is the word again? Engrossed. Engrossed. Pronounce it. Engrossed. 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 E N G R U. ST and groups. No, and gross is E N G R O S S E D and gross. The word is feminism. 
Feminism. Feminism. Feminism. F E M I N I S M. Feminism. That's correct. The word is predominant. Predominant. P R E D O M I N A N T. Predominant. That's correct. Hooligan. Hooligan. H O O L I G A N. Hooligan. That's correct. Inconsistency. Inconsistency. I N C O N S I S T E N C Y. Inconsistency. That's correct. Your word is prevalent. Is that word again? Prevalent. 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 Widespread in a particular area or at a particular time. Prevalent. P R E V A L E N T. Prevalent. That's correct. <laughs> Obsession. The word again. Obsession. The definition. The state in which a person's mind is completely filled with thoughts of one particular thing or person in a way that is not normal. Obsession. Please, can you put it in a sentence? She cared for him with a devotion bordering on obsession. Obsession. O B S I T I O N obsession. No, I'm sorry. Obsession is O B S E S S I O N obsession. The word is inconvenient. Inconvenient. Capital C, capital I, N, C, O, N, V, E, N, I, E, N, T, inconvenient. No, I'm sorry. Inconvenient is I N C O N V E N I E N T. Advice to focus on what you want to say before you spell it out. Your word is materialize. 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 Material materialize. M A T E R I A L I S E. Materialize. That's correct. Your word is obscene. Obscene. O B S E E N obscene. No, obscene is O B S C E N E obscene. The word is engineering. Engineering, E N G E E R I N G engineering.
No, engineering is E-N-G-I-N-E-E-R-I-N-G, -E -E engineering. The word is coax. To coax is to persuade gently. Coax. Please, can you put it in a sentence? Parents try to coax their children into eating less junk food. Coax. C-O-A-X. Coax. That's correct. Your word is precision. Precision. Definition. The quality, condition, or fact of being exact and accurate. Precision. Alternate pronunciation. Precision. Part of speech. Now. Origin. Not indicated. Precision. P R I S I O N precision. No precision is P R E C I S I O N precision. The word is incredible. Incredible. I N C R E D I B L E. Incredible. That's correct. No, no. Arrange yourselves in the middle. That's it. The word is predictable. Predictable. Please put it in a sentence form. The result of the soccer match was predictable from the beginning. Predictable. P R E D I C T A B L E predictable. That's correct. Resultant. Please to come again. Resultant to occur as a result or consequence of something. Resultant. Please come again. Resultant. Resultant. R E E E. S O U T A N T Resultant No Resultant R E S U L T A N T Resultant The word is coerce to coerce is to persuade by using force of some kind, such as threats. Coerce. Coerce. C-O-E-R-C-E-E. -E. Coerce. That's correct. Indulge. Indulge. I Indulge. Indulge. I N D U L G E in doubt. That's correct. Your word is blistering. Please the word again. Blistering. 
an extremely hot and uncomfortable condition, blistering. Blistering. B L I S T U R I N G. Blistering. That's correct. <laughs> Government. Government. G O V E R N M E N T. Government. That's correct. The word is martyr, a martyr. person who is killed because of their religious or other beliefs. Martyr, M-A-R-T-Y-R, martyr. That's correct. The word is honorable, honorable. Honorable. Bringing or deserving honor. Honorable. Honorable. U N I R A B L E. Honorable. No. Honorable is. H O N O U R A B L E, honorable. The word is alliteration. 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 A L L I T E. R A T I O N alliteration. That's correct. <laughs> the word is colleague. Colleague. C O L L E A G U E. Colleague. That's correct. Gluttony. Is the word again? Gluttony. Gluttony. Habitual greed or excess in eating. Gluttony. Gluttony. G L A T C O N Y. Gluttony. No, I'm sorry. Latin is G L U T T O N Y. The word is marquee. Marquee, a large tent used for social or commercial function. Marquee. Please, the word again. Marquee. Marquee. M A R Q U E E. Marquee. That's correct. <laughs> the word is credential. 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 C R I D E N C I A L. Credential. No, I'm sorry. Credential is C R E D E N T I A L. Credential. The word is enthrall. Capture the fascinated attention of enthrall. And throw. Please, the origin. Not indicated. No origin. Please, the part of speech. 
verb. Enter. Please, is it en Enthrall. Enthrall. E N C H R O U L. Enthrall. No, I'm sorry. Enthrall is E N T H R A L. Enthrall. Your word is audience. Audience. A U D I E N C E. Audience. That's correct. The word is prohibition. Prohibition. P R O H I B A T I O N. Prohibition. No, I'm sorry. Prohibition is P R O H I B I T I O N. Prohibition. The word is oppressive, 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 treating people in a cruel and unfair way and not giving them the same freedom, rights, etc. as other people. Oppressive. Please the word again. Oppressive. 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 O P. R E S S I V E oppressive. No, I'm sorry. Oppressive is O P P R E S S I V E oppressive. Your word is. You'd rather have your championship word to tackle. Which means, if you get it correct, you are the champion for the day. Your word is scandalous. Scandalous. S. C. A. N. D. A. L. O. U. S. Scandalous. That's correct. what makes this program and this competition interesting. I was really amazed when I saw the uh, quarterfinal champions going out and today we have a new champion at the semi-final um, stage. So that should be encouragement for all of us that you could be out today, or you may be um, tenth today, but you can be the final champion. So you shouldn't give up. Uh, keep on learning and preparing very well. And I believe uh, when you come to the final, it could be a different story. So congratulations, Sayram, Enoch, Kawelena, and all of us. We have done so well. So, Awela, now you have a tablet from us. We are going to give you a tablet. 
a tablet will be given to you. Enoch, you are also going to receive a tablet from us. Awela now also has a gift from us. Yes, but that is different from this. The final has grand prizes. So I will challenge all of you to go home and work hard and come again for the grand finale. We wish we could let all of you come uh, for the final. In fact, you've really done well. There were just uh, little mistakes, which I believe was due to tension and uh, some, maybe the pronunciation. But you've done well. So, Joel Kwame, Grace Ngomba, Nanaya Kweisi, Ajiman, Ayayi Festus, Hadija, Amwa Grace, and Asari, you will be given the opportunity to come back for the grand finale. have certificates for all of us for making it to this level. We believe you've all done well. You've worked so hard. Uh, you shouldn't be crying and you shouldn't be sad because you have the opportunity to come back again next year when we open registration. So congratulations to all of us once again. Uh, when you hear your name, please Grace Edwards. Opata Passe. Yes, what don't go? Let's give them another round of applause. They have done so well. They have taken a lot of hard work, a lot of nurturing, a lot of cultivation, a lot of sleepless nights for them to reach where they are. I consider them all champions. Of course. Native ability, the, the, the self confidence that they have acquired, they are going to use it in later aspects of their life. So, Grace Edwards. Opata Natasha. Oscar. Mabina Asare. I am eight years of age. I attend Elite Montessori School. I am very happy to go to the finals and I pray that I win. I thank God for bringing me this far. I am going to learn very hard so that I can win the spelling bee and the grand finale. My name is Elizabeth Asari. Ishira Asari is my daughter. 
we are very, very proud of her and happy to see her sitting here. So we thank God so much for how far he has brought us. Mm, we are waiting, we are waiting. And we know and we believe that she can do more than this. So the final, we all go and come out with something better. My name is Awalena Abedi Wesson. I'm nine years old. I'm in college four. The name of my school is Life International School. It's located at Community 5. I feel so happy for myself. I wish myself all the best. And I'll keep learning the words so I will be the first. My name is Cynthia Laiba Abedi Wesson. Um, Awelana is my daughter. Um, I am happy for where she has gotten to. Um, she put in a lot of effort to learn and the performance she has put out here is very outstanding. I'm happy that she has qualified to the final and then I wish her all the best at the final. I will continue to encourage her to learn and to perform best at the final. I wish her all the best and God's blessing. My name is at the end of the day. I am nine years old. I was very excited because I am the second in this family. I know that when we are going to the finals, I'll be the champion. Oh, actually, I can put in more effort. I'm Mr. Ruben Asibe. Um, Enoch is my student. Um, Enoch is a hard-working boy, and I'm really happy that he has made it to the finals. Um, my word of advice to him is to learn hard and take his study serious. We are going to work together to make him greater and greater. We believe that the finals He's going to be the champion. My name is Sarah Anabra. I attend Holy Cross High School. I, I, am the, I am at the age of eight years. I thank God for what God has done for me. And I feel happy and, and fabulous. And I, and I, Thank God Almighty for letting me be in this contest. Today too, God has made it. I'm Mrs. Amevo, a Seram's mother. I'm very, very happy today that my son has won the competition, the semi-finals. And God willing, he will take us through the finals as well. I really, really do appreciate what the Lord has done today. But first and foremost, I thank the organizers of this uh, show and I pray that they will be doing more to the children in their learning. I thank the teachers for helping him out, for building his confidence. Most of the time, he gets worried to be spelling out the words, but they have tried hard for him to be able to come out this far. I thank God for this day. My name is Sopata Basse. I am 12 years old. My school is scholar. I'll learn harder to win in the next stage. My name is Tedokas. Basso is my student at Project. I'm so happy for him coming to this stage. And I win. I wish he would be the winner at the finals. We are going to learn extra more, yeah. We'll put in our possible best to make him in the final. I feel happy for the people who qualified for the finals. Uh, I hope they win and fulfill their dreams and everything they want. I was sad that I did not get the thing right because I thought that was how they spelt it. I will come back to him and see if I can be part of the finals. In all, I feel she did well, but um, this is a situation where she missed one word and you know she could have done better. 
So paying attention, attention to this, so this is the time to learn it all. So I'm happy she's in the competition. She's doing well. She didn't take it so well, losing in this competition because she has the aim of going to the finals. But I think it's a good thing. Uh, next time, we'll, we'll come again. I know she'll come again and next time she'll pay attention to details more. Okay. So this is something that I have been working on. You know, she's in a hurry to finish. Mm -hmm. So this is something that I've been working on and I think she's taking it. It's a lesson, life lesson. So it's okay. We have come to the end of the first semi-final competition for the basic one to four division. That is the minor division. The interesting thing about this competition is we had uh, Mabana Ishura Asari, who was a winner from one group at the quarterfinal stage. And we had Festus at the um, other end as also a winner. So I was expecting one of them to be the winner for the semi-final stage. But interestingly, we couldn't have Mabena or Festus uh, being first or even second. And that uh, tells us that we, we can, the children can learn a lot of things from this uh, program. That if even you are not a winner in the quarter-final stage, you can still come back in the semi-final stage and become a champion. And interestingly, we are going to see a final where maybe Sayram, who uh, is the winner for this uh, semi-final stage, may not be the winner for the grand finale. And that is the interesting thing about this program, that at any level, we can have new faces and new names coming up as the champions. Although at the quarter-final um, stage, Seyram was second in his uh, group. And uh, so I'm not so surprised that today he has become a winner. I saw a different attitude today. Today he looked very careful. He would uh, spell as if he doesn't know what he's doing, but he, he, he finished the work well done. And I, I think he has really done well. And the rest of the spellers, I believe they know how to come back. So we are going to see an interesting final because I believe Abena, Mabena, uh, Ishra Asari would want to come back stronger. And I believe Festus would want to come back stronger. I believe Newton Ajiman and the rest, all of them, would want to come back stronger and better in the grand finale. So um, our viewers, we are going to learn and uh, entertain ourselves as well as we've um, seen today. Genius Speller, it goes beyond just spelling. Genius Speller, we learn by doing, we learn through innovation. Thousands enter, only few chosen remain. 
Among the chosen few, one champion speller, one of the most exclusive competitions in the country where intelligence, hard work and skill is everything. Erythropoiesis. E-R-Y-T-H-R-O-P-O-I-E-S-I-S, -E -E Erythropoiesis. That's correct. Junior Speller, learn, earn, and spell like a champion.